And you are live on there. What's your name and where are you from? Hey, Sean G. This is uh, uh, Brother Peter come calling from uh, uh, the Rio Grande Valley, Texas, sir. All right. So what kind of dream have you got tonight, buddy? Oh, uh, 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 I got I got a pretty good one, Sean G. Uh, if you got the time. Uh, uh, sure. You know, I, got, right. I got a pretty good yeah, I got it. Okay, well, I'm going to take you back. This is uh, back in 2017, okay? Uh, and this was uh, in July. And and where I'm at at this time, I'm in, I, I was staying in Laredo, Texas, right? And uh, I was staying uh, actually uh, uh, on the uh, on the company yard because the, 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 the company that I was working for, we do outside work, you know what I mean? Uh, we do like uh, uh, the litter pickup, the landscape work along the expressways of Laredo, right? And so at this time, I was a uh, 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 I wasn't homeless, but I was staying with the company because I was having difficulty uh, 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 paying rent over here in the valley where I'm really from, right? And so I would stay uh, on the yard inside a pickup truck, you know. I was staying uh, inside a pickup truck, and I mean, it got hot, but I mean, I had to learn how to survive, right? But uh, mm -hmm. this one this one particular night, and I'll never forget because uh, when I had given my life over to the Lord over over 20 years ago, uh, I started to really uh, uh, see life in the spiritual sense, Sean. And I, I think you understand what I'm talking about because uh, uh, before we before you had your in near death experience, uh, mm -hmm. you weren't really. Uh, tapped into the spirituality that you are right now you know what i mean and, yeah and yeah, yeah I'm, it, I'm following you sure i agree with that because and that's a similar common ground that we have because when i had my experience uh, uh that changed my life forever i didn't know it at that time but uh i started to see a, a more spiritual uh, a life in a more spiritual way okay okay so with that being said uh, uh, so in 2017, I already have some years, you know, walking with the Lord, right? Uh, uh, by in prayer and stuff like that, right? Trying to follow the word uh, in my everyday life, you know? And, and, and so I, I'm in this truck, and, and July the 7th, and could I always keep uh, uh, my uh, 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 numbers, numbers play a part, you know, and looking at the signs, right? right. Uh, to, to know that, that God's guiding you, right? And so this dream I had, uh, because I'm from Corpus Christi, right? And in Corpus Christi, it's a Bay City. And so they have a, a, a bridge. It's called the Harbor Bridge. And they're actually turning it down now. They're making a new one, right? But it's a big bridge, right? We'll always have dreams uh, that I'm crossing this bridge. And I'm always afraid. Because I'm afraid of heights. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, every time whenever I have this dream that I'm crossing this bridge, uh, I, always, I always feel my stomach turn, like get nervous, right? But uh, and in this dream... I'm going with my family, right? It's me, my mom, my dad, and, and my sister while they were, like in the truck, right? And it's dark. And we're going over the bridge as a family. And and uh, when we go over the bridge, I remember getting nervous or whatever, but we cross the bridge okay. And then we end up in a department store, right? And, and when we're inside the store and everybody separates my mom and my dad to go separate way. And then my sister, I say, I, I ask my sister, I say, hey, what's mom and dad? And well, I don't know. And let me go look for him, right? And she takes off. And then so I get to a point where I'm looking. I, I'm in this department store by myself, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm all like, hey, where my family go, right? So I said, well, I guess they're gone. I guess they're gone, you know? So I step outside of the department store, kind of in confusion, but like, okay, well, well what am I going to do, right? So I, I step outside the department store, and I end up like in the in the ghetto, in the ghetto. Uh, it's dark, it's dark, it's, it's dark outside, you know, and, and it's the ghetto because I know where I'm at, I, I feel it's the ghetto, right? And I'm in the ghetto and I'm like walking around, I said, whoa, what am I going to do? And it's a dangerous environment or whatever, right? But, but for some reason, I wasn't afraid, right? Because I knew, I knew in the back of my mind that God was with me, but I just didn't know like to what degree, right? And so I said, what am I going to do? And I'm in the ghetto and I'm walking around or whatever, and then I, it transitions into where I'm walking now with the pastor that I used to watch on TBN. I used to watch this uh, one uh, uh, a preacher, evangelist, on TBN back in the day. Uh, his name was Michael Youssef. He was a real good pastor. I mean, a real good uh, uh, minister of, uh, of the word, right? 
And so I'm, I'm walking with this guy, this pastor. I'm like, hey, man, I'm actually walking with the man. I'm walking by his side, right? And this guy's, you know, uh, Sonny or whatever. And, and he's old, right? He's an right. older man. And he's, like, he's walking with me. But I'm, I'm like, I'm being like a student, so to speak. You know what I mean? Because he's talking to me and, and I'm listening to him, right? And then he says, hey, I need to sit down. And I said, okay. So I, so I stand behind him and he sits down on a chair. And the moment he sits down on his chair and I'm standing behind him, in walks my uncle and like another uh, pastor because I have an uncle that is a pastor of a church, right? But when my uncle walks in, I'll never forget because his eyes, uh, they were radiating like a yellowish tint, a uh, 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 light. And, 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 and he was walking with another pastor and they were in suits. They were wearing suits and ties, right? And when he walks in, he sees me. He, he has a look of expression of shock. Like, Peter, what are you doing here? Like, you know what I mean? Because because I'm all like, hey, I'm right here with the I'm right, I'm right here with the pastor. You know what I mean? I'm, I got his back. And he's all oh, okay. And then he's like, they, they go automatically straight to the pastor, like, you know, like, oh, like trying to butter him up, or like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, pastor, this and that, right? Whatever. And like, like, like playing, playing a uh 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 uh. Uh, uh, like they're up, uh, uh, praising him, you know what I mean? Like, oh, pastor, this and that. And the pastor is not even like, pay, uh, 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 he's like kind of blowing him off, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, 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 whatever, right? And so uh, later on, it gets to the point where uh, the pastor says, uh, okay, wait right here because I need to go do something, right? And I said, okay. And so he takes off walking and I end up in a vacant house. I'm in a vacant house. And he told me, he said, wait right here. I need to go do something. I said, okay. And so he walks off and I'm like in the vacant house watching where he's going. And he's going across the street into this other house. Now, the moment he walks into this house, Sean, you hear all kinds of ruckus, all kinds of yelling, and all kinds of stuff going on in there. Like if there's actually like some kind of spiritual warfare or exorcism taking place. And then out comes like some little kid out of the house they're running all scared right and the mom or whatever i don't know but they're all running out of the house and then out comes like uh, uh, uh i guess it's the father i guess the father because he's coming out uh, and he's calling out to him. he's like hey i'm okay it's me it's your daddy i'm better i'm better now i'm better i'm healed and this is that right and so like in other words when that pastor went in there uh he i guess he exercised the demon in that in that, that father or whatever and then, but once that happened, Shandi, once that happened, once that, that, that happened, uh, I'm hiding inside this vacant place. Then all of a sudden I look because the, uh, the house is the vacant house that has windows. And, and out of that house shoots an image. An image is flying over like, like, and, and it looks like an image of a soldier, like back in the, in the, uh, uh, like in the 14 to 1500s with the white hair and the, the, those, the, uh, uh, those uh, funny looking hats or the, the suits, you know what I mean? I guess like the North and the South type stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but he, he was a soldier like dressed in that time, an image, and he looked really upset, Sean. The moment like, you know, uh, uh, that happened, he was passing by and he was looking over the house. Like he was flying by over the house and he was like looking like into the house, like looking at me, you know? And I'm trying to hide, you know, like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to hide from this guy, but I can't because he's like looking through the house, right? And then so all of a sudden, you know, like, boom, I wake up. I wake up and it's like, hey, whoa, whoa, what, what, what is God telling me? You know, because I know this is a transition. This dream is not only a prophetic dream, but it's a dream of transition. Like, you know, like for a moment, I'm going to be uh, 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 with my family, right? And then later on, the family, the, the, the security, you know, the family security leaves, right? And then you end up in, in, in a place where you're not from, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and, then, you're, and then your faith in God leads you to somebody that, 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 is, that knows him, like a, a, somebody like a pastor or whatever. And the, pa the pastor teaches you by his example uh, about prayer, about the spiritual warfare, you know what I mean? The, the, the spiritual warfare that is real. And the only way we can do that is by, by, by basically putting our faith in the Lord because he's the one that has that, that kind of power, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and so that, that, was only, that was only one dream, though, Sean, because I've had so many other dreams. Uh, uh, just recently I had a dream about Tupac. 
You know, famous, famous celebrity. You know what I mean? Do you know who Tupac Shakur is? Yeah, I've heard of him. I wasn't a fan, but I know who he is. I've had a dream about him, Sean. Oh, wow. Well, well, let's hear it. A- what about oh, but, but, but this is some but oh, okay because Sean G, I'm gonna tell you something about uh, uh, uh about, about about me because when I was younger I used to look up to this guy like I used to worship him man I used oh, to okay. worship his I used to worship his music I mean I, I like like I literally like man I mean I was like I, 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 I that's how much I love this guy man and I still do to this day you know but this dream in this dream that I had uh when recently like i'll say this past week of uh, a couple of days ago i had this dream right uh I, in this dream i don't know how we ended up but we're we're I, i'm here in the valley and then uh uh, uh all of a sudden you know I'm, I, I uh we're in a car and he's like driving and it's me i'm, I'm a hispanic guy right and so uh, i'm a hispanic guy but there's like three black guys and, and tupac's in the front right and there's a driver or whatever and i'm in the back seat and i'll never forget because i had a bag and in my backpack, I had like a way uh, uh, those protein uh, uh, drugs, right? But it was full of weed because I, I like I like to smoke a little bit of that, that, that marijuana. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and I had this I had this thing of weed, right? That, but and I had it in my backpack, right? And and I'm going with this guy, but and I'm going with with, with Tupac. But uh, I said, hey, you know, are we gonna go to Corpus Christi? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but he's taking me on another agenda. You know what I mean? He says, yeah, we're going to go drop you off and this and that, this and that. And I'm like, I'm getting kind of like, 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 hey, man, what are these guys up to? You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm in the car with these guys. And I say, and I'm thinking like, hey, well, we're going to go over here. We're going to do this. But they're like, yeah, we're going to go over here. But they're taking me somewhere else. You know what I mean? And then we, and then we uh, uh, end up to where like, I guess, a, like a, a, a house with homies or whatever. And I know it was Tupac because he was in the front with his rag on and he's talking, you know, like, like, with swag, right? Tupac, blah, blah, blah. And then he gets off, and then I get off, and then he go, and he goes into the back. Because the moment I get off, he goes into the back of the car where I have my backpack. And he goes into the backpack, and then they go, okay, all right. And I say, you're going to drop me off at my mom's house? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we'll get to you in a little bit, whatever. And that's what. Let me go check if I get my backpack, right? And I get, I go in my backpack, and the weed is gone. The weed is gone, man. These guys put a, a, a jack move on me, you know what I mean? And I and I never forget Shanji. I never forget because when, when I found out, like my weed, you know, got gone. That I mean, I, it broke my heart, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> it broke my heart, man. I was like, oh man, you know why? Why do that, man? I looked up to this guy and see what he do me. And so and so from that point, I had to walk. I start walking to my house, man. You know, like like I felt abandoned, betrayed. You know what I mean? And so I'm walking like toward uh, uh, my house, you know. And, they're the the the, the, uh, the dream fills without you know what I mean, but but these dreams that I have, John uh, uh, Sean G, like and, oh not only that Sean, but it's crazy because when I had this dream about him, uh, it was a, a couple of days of his birthday, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. His birthday, his, his birthday was recent, and so I, I don't know, like you know, like if, if the Lord is opening my eyes to 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 see certain things about about people that you know. Uh, we idolize or worship or whatever, you know what I mean? Because uh, I think we, we all come to that point where we idolize somebody or we worship somebody or uh, we, hide some, we, we hold uh, uh, people to a high degree. And then in, 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 but, uh, later on in life, we, we, we find out that, the, that those people are just like us, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, and not everybody will, will embrace us like we, we want to be embraced, you know what I mean? Some of those people are like you, you uh, idolize a... Uh, you you ask for an autograph and they throw you the finger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that, that's heartbreaking, Sean. But I just wanted to share with you that dream, man. And and, uh, uh, and, and I, I don't know if you're a father. Are you a father, Sean? I was never blessed with a child. So. Well, well, you you you. But in, in, in the spiritual realm, Sean, you are a father, brother. You are a father because there are young young. Uh, 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 people that, that are, are, are young enough to be our kids, you know, because I'm 44, brother, you know what I mean? I'm not a, fa- I, I, I'm not a father either, but at the same time, uh, I've, been, I've been privileged uh, to watch kids grow up and to establish their lives uh, uh, as you grow up in age, you know, because when you grow up in age and, and you see these, these kids around you or neighbors or, or nieces, nephews or whatever, that gives you uh, 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 the, uh, 
the mantle of a father. You know what I mean? Because 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 you're you're up there, man. Just because you don't have uh, kids uh, uh, in the flesh, it doesn't mean you don't have kids in the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? You're a spiritual person, Sean. So that means well, you're I a try spiritual father. Well, no, it, to... it's not that you. It's not you're trying to be, Sean. It's what God has given to you, and you're running with it. You're going with it. You're pushing forward with what God has given you. And it's nothing about trying. It's you're walking in your plan. You're walking in that plan that he put in front of you. And, and he, he did everything, all, all the rest. And now you're just giving that testimony. You're writing it down. You're speaking it. You're speaking uh, the truth about your life. You're reaching a lot of people, di people of different beliefs, uh, different religions, uh, 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 and the people of all people who don't believe in God, it don't matter. You're reaching out to them, brother. And, well, and that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm you're trying doing, to do. And you're doing an excellent job, Sean. I, I just want to salute you on that, man, because you're doing a, a, an excellent job. I tune in as much as I can. And, and I love you, brother. Like, you know, sometimes uh, uh, because I, I believe, man, I really do believe that you, you're my brother in the Lord, you know, because everything you speak, man, I mean, I love hearing it, man. I love hearing your story. Uh, I love hearing what you're talking about because uh, my experiences uh, it has a little similarities too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, well, and it's all by it's all by plan, Sean. Well, Peter, I appreciate you calling in, brother. You, you have, I always like talking to you. I like hearing your your point of view and your stories. But. Amen. All right, Sean. Well, I just want to salute you and salute to all the fathers out there. Y'all have a good Father's Day, and thank you so much, Sean. And Dark Waters, too. <laughs> God bless you guys. <laughs> well, God bless you, too, brother. And call in anytime you want thank to. You. Okay, 10-4. Thank you. Bye. Oh, he 10 4 me. Huh? Oh, wow. That reminds me of Travis, my late brother. That's uh, As soon as he said he 10 4 you. That's all you say. You hang up on him. I already didn't forge you. I ain't talking to you anymore. 